is your faith. Do you say you believe in the Lord? You said it, Jesus is the Son of God. See, what happened to you? Oh, I don't want to let y'all in on this here. Because I don't want y'all to get tickled and go to laugh and start laughing too long. What happened to you is you was out there hustling, out there running around, trying to find your girlfriend, trying to find your boyfriend, trying to get on your feet, looking everywhere. Boys breaking your heart, women laying you down. You didn't know what to do. You couldn't get yourself together. You got in a corner, and the Lord began to talk to you. And finally, you want to hear it because tears coming down your eyes. And He began to tell you, son, daughter, love is not in them. Jesus Christ, the word of God is in your mouth. He said, the word is not in you what you're looking for. The happiness that you're trying to find is in your mouth. He said, peace is in your mouth. Joy is in your mouth. If you will confess Jesus, if you will confess Jesus, if you will in the covenant with Jesus, you said, Lord, I confess the Lord. I believe in my heart. But now I'm going through not trouble to go my door. The reason that you're going through like you're going through is because you said you believe that God raised Jesus up from the dead. And ever since you said that, the devil has been coming against you. He said, Lord, he's a liar. He's still my child. He ain't the truth. The truth ain't made him free. I come against him with a storm. I come against him with chatter. I come against him. He'll walk down, worried all the time, full of fear. He'll backslide in the sin. Cause he's dead. How can he believe and be full of fear? It ain't nothing but a test. You said you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. If you have faith, he'll raise you. The devil keeps putting fear where faith should have been. You should have dotted every eye and crossed every T. You should have did your homework. You should have stayed to show yourself proof. You should have found out what Jesus gave you. You should have found out what he done on Calvary Cross. You should have found out why he took the stripes. If you knew why he took the stripes, by his stripes am I healed. You wouldn't be walking around talking about what medication and what sickness you got. So by his stripes am you wouldn't be mad. You know, forgave everybody. If you found out that the angel come down and rolled a stone from his grave, the stone that's covering your heart, that's blocking your blessing, roll the stone right from the door of your heart. Forgive and you shall be given. Forgive. Your sin will be forgiven. When your sin forgiven, you'll be healed. When your sin forgiven, you'll rise. When your sin forgiven, you'll get rich. When your sin are forgiven, if you forgive, roll back the stone from the grave. He sent the angel to roll back the stone. But every time the prince in his house uh, tell you something, uh, instead of the stone rolling back, uh, you get hard-hearted. Instead of the stone rolling back, uh, you get mad. Instead of the stone rolling back, uh, you go to talking about them. You get to put them down. He come uh, that you may have life uh, and that you may have it more abundant. Uh, you fighting uh, in the dark and they gave nobody a black eye. Bless yourself. Get yeah. on somebody. Get yeah. on somebody. I'm talking about the power of God. I'm talking about the resurrection of God. I'm talking about the God that dead, bad, and suffered. 
when the blood come down, it ripped the church up, gave you a place in there, ripped the ground, went down the hill, took the keys of death and hell. Not going to die no more, but I go to judgment. I'll be made within me. The perfect day will have come. He got a mansion over there for me. He got a mansion for the believer. He got a mansion for those that are humble themselves. He got a mansion for those that are submit themselves. Submit yourself to the word of God. Stop riding up. Stop limping up. Leave pride alone. Look at the eyes. Look at the flesh. Submit yourself. Humble yourself. Remember what God brought you from. Remember the word come out of your mouth. Remember your marriage vow to the Lamb and what you believe. You walk in on sure ground. You build up on a solid rock. You're on your way up. You're on your way up. You're on your way up. The sound of blessings are coming down on you. The sound of blessings are blessing your coming. Blessing your going. You got bread on your table. Food on your feet. Food in your garden. In your garden. Thank you, Lord. 